Hi, this is Dr. Tom McFadden at Advanced Cosmetic Surgery, and today we're going to talk about breast reduction recovery. Well, it really depends on how you define recovery. Uh, to return back to fairly normal activities, desk work, kind of at a slow pace, certainly a week is reasonable. Uh, to recover more thoroughly, in other words, your wounds are really strong, you can stress them out, you can return to regular exercise and I would always encourage people to return gradually to regular exercise. I would say at least four weeks and probably six weeks until you really go full core press. So right after the operation of course you'll be sore. Uh, you're gonna have a lot of bruising and swelling that probably is going to last for a good week or two. Uh, it will resolve fairly quickly within the first two to three weeks but you'll still have some residual swelling which can last for maybe another two months or so. But again, most of the activities you can do, you'll be able to do within say two to three days. Uh, you'll be good to go on your own and take care of yourself and run out of a burning building if you have to, usually by day two. One thing is uh, we, we can get some redness around the wounds. Uh, you have redness normally actually so sometimes it's hard to tell the difference between an infection of the skin and normal healing tissue. Uh, nonetheless, you can get some infections. That's an infection of the skin. It's not a trapped pus pocket or anything. That's also possible. Very unusual though. Uh, but those are usually very easily treated with antibiotics. Sometimes you have a wound that opens up for whatever reason. It's not very strong. Uh, you stressed yourself a little bit too much. You had a bad night's sleep and you were very active. You can come in and have those repaired, really uh, very little inconvenience and the cost is usually uh, included as part of the procedure if it happens in the early post-operative period. You can have poorly healing scars, that's more of a function of the individual, that's more between you and God, nature, uh, and nature is a very powerful force, but we are very stubborn and very persistent so we always want the best outcome for you. Uh, typically, we're going to recommend that you take a vitamin package that, that starts before the day of the operation and then continues for several weeks afterwards. Uh, that's in an effort to get your tissue really healthy and on the way to good, strong, and rapid healing. We also typically include uh, a silicone scar cream that will be applied once the sutures come out at about a week and then maybe two weeks or so. So all in all, we do breast reduction surgeries of every size and shape. The techniques that we use can be very good from very small, relatively small, to extremely large. The largest breast reduction surgery I've ever done is a 19 pound reduction. I've done several that were 16 and a couple that were 15. I haven't seen any of those in a while, but uh, it is possible. Of course, those people are a little bit larger, but even people who are five foot and just over 100 pounds sometimes need a breast reduction operation as well to get them more proportionate and they're just as appreciative. So if you're interested in breast reduction surgery, give us a call. Call our patient care coordinators Lacey and Laura at 864-242-3223 and they'll be glad to talk to you and help you out. Thanks for watching this video on breast reduction recovery. Be sure to like and subscribe and watch out for some more videos just like this in the near future. Thanks.